Well, I'm hoping this episode pans out. What am I talking about? Let's jump into it and I'll explain. Welcome to this episode of Shop Talk by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I want to share this guy uh, with you. I picked this up um, off of, I think, CS Deals. I'll have a link to this down below. Now, it was sub 40 bucks, and I thought, for the money, sub 40 bucks, I got to give this a try. I didn't see a lot about this on the old interweb or anything. There were a couple of hit and miss videos, but 40 bucks, I figured I'd give it a try. As you know, I've been working on a couple motion control projects, dual access, you know, um, azimuth and elevation type, and, you know, building it all up out of 3D printed parts and that kind of stuff. However, when I ran across this, I said this is, could be a very interesting base to build a number of pretty cool projects off of. So why is that? Well, first off, it's wireless. It comes with a remote controller and it's alt as it has a built-in battery um, charged through this micro USB port. It also has a USB out port. And I'll talk about this in a minute. And then obviously an on-off switch. Now, one of its big challenges, though, is if you're really looking for uh, a creative platform, this probably isn't it. Well, not in its stock configuration. Because one of the things with this is... Uh, its motion is at one speed, so it doesn't get faster or slower. When you push the button, it's one speed. And the movement isn't that smooth. It's not horrible, but eh, not that good either. Uh, but it does work, and it does have a good couple hundred feet range, or at least that's been my experience with it. Now, why did I get this given some of these shortfalls? Well, again, I'm experimenting with a couple motion control systems, and for the price, you know, it's really hard to beat to buy motors and all the other parts that you get for this at that price point. And so my plan with this is actually to rework it. So as I mentioned before, we have a USB output port here for 5 volts. So I can take um, an Arduino Nano hook it up to this, use pulse width modulation to control the DC motors in here so I can control the speed and timing of this unit uh, separate of this remote control. So I could work it in a couple different ways. I could have the nano programmed for certain sequences if a button is pressed. So the button triggers the nano, the nano then sends pulse width modulated um, current to the unit moves the motors, etc. Or I can just have the uh, you know, Arduino Nano do it directly. So there's a couple different options. And again, at the price point, uh, I really felt it's interesting. Now, is it the most perfect thing in the world? No, but for sub 40 bucks, what do you expect? You pay almost that for a Starbucks coffee nowadays. But that's why I wanted to share with you guys. So if you're looking for a really low cost, two axis motion control system, that you want to hack or uses the basis for hacking. I really think this is about it. Now this is rated for about 260 grams. I've gone a little bit more. I've actually used it with my uh, Canon G10 in several cases and it's actually worked pretty good. So it's handled the weight. Although I would not go too crazy and put a full size DLSR on here. That is clearly way too heavy. As you can see from the box it's really meant for a hero camera or um, really sorry a GoPro uh, style camera. So anyways, let me know your thoughts about this. Do you have one? Have you seen these before? Uh, have you hacked one? What have you hacked it into? What are your suggestions for hacking this? I'm open. So let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Um, also, I'll have a link to this down below if you're interested. Swag Shop's going to be up there. Subscribe over there and we'll catch you in the next video where we do something else cool. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel.